everybody. Hey, everybody. <laughs> it's Alicia and Lakeisha. How are you doing? Hey. I'm so excited to have Lakeisha mm-hmm. with us here today. She's a superstar, as you've probably already heard. So we're going to talk to her about what she's doing, how she's making her money online, why she's so fabulous. <laughs> And my favorite thing that makes her my twin is why she's so addicted to learning and what that's done for her, <laughs> right? So, um, Lakeisha, are you ready? Yes, waiting. <laughs> is this your first Facebook Live you've ever done? <laughs> yes. Yes, it's your first. That's okay. That's okay. So hi, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. When you join, just type hi in the comments below so we can hear you. So you see, you've got a lot of people saying hi to you, Lakeisha. So Sarita says hi. June says hello. Blessed says go, Lakeisha. Sandra (laughs) says hello. Faith Lynn says hi. So you've got a lot of people here that are giving you some shout out. Sharon says hi, guys. There she is. There's Sharon, Sarita, June, Blessed. We see you guys, Sandra, Faith Lynn. Thank you guys so much for coming on. We really appreciate it. I think Ava's on here. Our team members are on here as well. There's mm-hmm. Patricia. Hi, Patricia. So I'm so excited today to have Miss Lakeisha with us. Lakeisha, let's start off by you just telling everybody how you got started in freelancing. How'd you hear about it? How'd you hear about us? And how did you get the bug? to, you know, really want to start your own online business? Okay, initially, um, I started doing freelancing in 2010. I was learning bookkeeping online. Okay. I had a, I had a family member who said to me, Lakeisha, you know, you could stay home and work from home, make money from home, and spend more time with your kids. And I was like, wow, this is a fabulous idea. So... She started to teach me the ropes. She she taught me about PayPal. She taught me about using QuickBooks. I'm a QuickBooks pro. (laughs) You're a QuickBooks pro. All right, love it. Yes, I am. Okay, and after that, then I started doing call reviewing on a site called Humanitic. That's an awesome site. And then several years after that, I I came across Layton's Price interview in on Facebook and I read it and I was like wow this is so inspiring this girl is so strong yeah. and I'm like you know what I, 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 I want to know more about this and I paid I paid for the course and there was no looking back <laughs> and so one of the skills that you have and one of the things that you do is transcription am I correct yes you're correct so tell us, what's your biggest order from transcription? Everybody always wants to know that. Or your most exciting order? My largest order from transcription is for $160. So I was, <laughs> I was up late. I'm always up. <laughs> I was up late and I was going through the buyer's request. And guys, buyer's request is very important. You need to send them out, send them out. You get sent, send out, send them all out. So I saw this, this request, uh, a family had about eight interviews that they wanted transcribed and I, they were offering $180. So I bid for $160 and I didn't remember anything about it. About almost two weeks after I saw that I got an order. And the first person I messaged was Leighton. I was like, Leighton, guess what? Uh-uh. I just got an order for $160. And she was like, woohoo. <laughs> She's like, oh, yeah. So excited for you, awesome. huh? Yes, she is. She is. She has taught me a lot about transcription. Okay. And I was so excited for that order. Now, do you do all your transcription yourself or do you hire other people to help you? Sometimes I, I hire a person, sometimes. Okay. But you do a lot of it yourself. Yes, I do a lot of it by myself. 
And you even taught other people some tools that you use. Tell us a little bit about the tools that you love and that you use. The tool that I love the most when I'm transcribing a file is Temi. <laughs> that that yeah. is the only file I use. The That's only tool I use, sorry. Right. Um, yes, and you taught me that. I didn't know about Temi until you mentioned it. So thank you for that, right? I always appreciate learning. Speaking about learning, tell us about your addiction to learning. This is where I always say we're twinning because I'm addicted to learning and I see you are as well. So tell us a little bit about your addiction. <laughs> okay, so I'm always willing to learn new skills because every day the industry is changing. Um, companies are requesting different skills, various skills. Just a few days ago, a client paid me $40 just to upload some pictures to a WordPress blog post. Easy, easy. <laughs> you couldn't believe it. You're like, really? But you took it, right? You took that $40. <laughs> <laughs> so now that you have the skill set of how to use WordPress and work around with it, then you put up a, um, a service for doing stuff on WordPress. Is that correct? Yes, I did. Um, I was um, blessed, blessed that Celia, she was the one who taught me about WordPress. Okay. Yes, she taught me how to build a, web, um, a WordPress website from scratch. Thank you, Celia. <laughs> <laughs> and then I did the SEO course. I did the SEO course with Laurie. That was an awesome course. And Laurie taught me how to make, um, use Yoast SEO to make sure the blog post is optimized. And then I was having an issue with the passive voice and she helped me to understand it better. So I have the gig, I have a gig up for it. And Laura was my first customer. <laughs> okay, okay, great. That's good news. I love that. Well, I should be your next customer because I've got some WordPress stuff I need done too. So I love that. So you're learning these skills that are in high demand, then you're putting up gigs for these skills. Do you ever do buyer's requests? Yes, I do. 10 every day. Tell us a little bit about that. Okay, so what I normally do is like when it's about 3 a.m., I notice that the, the request refresh. 3 a.m. or every hour on the hour, you will go there and you see a lot of requests. The more gigs you have, the more buyers requests you will see. You have some person saying that, oh, I'm not seeing anything, but they probably only have one gig. So like for me, I have a VA gig, a phone call gig, social media, SEO. Uh, <laughs> I have um, a writing gig as well. And I have one for QuickBooks accounting. I have some more. I have a YouTube transcription gig as well. Gig one and seven up? Yes, <laughs> it's 11. I have 11 gigs in total. Oh, yes, and I have a gig for transcribing handwritten text or PDF. Okay. I have that okay. too. Okay, okay. And what is your favorite service that you offer? Out of all of them, what's the one where you're like, I hope I get more customers for this? Okay, so I started out with transcription, and I love transcription so much. But then I crossed over in doing phone calls, and I am loving it. <laughs> yes, I'm getting some telephone love, like, every day. <laughs> wow, you're getting orders every day. Yes. And what type uh, of telephone services are you offering? Okay, is it mission um, treatment setting? What are you offering? Cold calling, telecommunications, um, telemarketing, sorry, telemarketing, sorry. And I'll do, um, I'm working on a project now where I'm just calling to verify customer information. Okay. Yes. Must, Some, that's not bad, right? No, it's not. It's very easy. And the client was so amazed with my work, she gave me a $60 tip. Wow. That must have felt really good. Yes, I was jumping up and down $60 <laughs> for a tip. Oh, my. I was like, oh. <laughs> and then right after that, she placed another order for $90. Wow. Wow. So she's definitely very happy with your work. 
She's very happy. And one thing that I noticed that she's appreciative of is that um, um, the communication. I love to communicate with my clients. I'm always letting them know what is happening, how long is this going to take. Even today, um, I was supposed to make some calls and I said to her, you know, it's Labor Day in America, so I'm not sure... I'm not sure what the results of the calls would be. And she would say, oh, my Lakeisha, thank you so much for letting me know. No, don't call them. Don't make any calls today. Take the day off. I saw, and then I saw you posted in the group um, telling everybody else that today was Labor Day because a lot of us, myself included, I, I didn't know that it was. I knew Labor Day was coming up, but I forgot, you know, today was Labor Day or yesterday was Labor Day. So your customers appreciate you even you know, thinking about those type of things and giving them heads up and notice about that, right? Yes. And then another thing I'd like to add is that when you, oh, yes, I forgot to mention, I did a design class as well. I have a design gig as well. <laughs> I didn't remember that one. Okay. So I got a job to do social, social media posts. And then that's where the design gig came in. I started making posts and quotes for the person, the client, and he was so pleased. He was so pleased. Wow. That's one that, um, sorry, I was saying that's one that we love is those gigs on design because they lead to more work a lot of times as well. Like when they're pleased, they want to order from you again and again. Is that, is that right? Did that happen to you yet? Yes, that happens. Because even with the SEO that I learned, learned I told I my client is getting a WordPress website done. I am I am managing the whole project, and I'm like, when you finish getting your WordPress website built, I want you to I want to um I am going to install the Yoast plugin so I can make sure that your your post the readability is 100 percent and she was like yo tell me more tell me more and she went ahead and she bought she got a premium and she said um like he i don't want a free one the premium sounds good as soon as the posts are ready i'm gonna let you do it for me and how much is your premium service uh the pre my premium service for which gig? <laughs> you said that she got the premium. Was that the premium of no, the that, No, Yo's premium. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Because they have and a free she's version. She's going to let you do it. Yes. Okay. Okay. So, locking it. I was asking you what your favorite gig was, and you started talking about transcription, then you started talking about something else, and then something else. Are you having a hard time telling me what your favorite gig is? No, my favorite one is transcription. I love doing transcription. Your favorite one is transcription. Yes, love transcription. I love doing transcription because you learn, you learn so much from doing transcription. All right, now I want you to say, I love transcription. I love I transcription. Love transcription. <laughs> I love transcription. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make sure everybody knows. Come on, sing it. I love transcription. You should love it too. <laughs> <laughs> now we teach transcription in the virtual assistant class. And we also teach it in um, get paid to type.com. So people can, you know, get those courses, get paid to type if you want the in-depth course with Layton. So you've got options for you if you want to learn as well. Now, Lakeisha, you are addicted to learning. I want you to tell everybody, keep learning, right? Keep because learning. Keep, keep learning. learning. I every, think time, every time you see Alicia and Lauren offer a course, jump on it. Jump on it because the course, let me tell you, let me tell you. The courses are so reasonable and they explain everything to the T, to the T. And they don't leave you alone. <laughs> They're there. They're there to support you. Yes, we are. They're there to support you. You can message them anytime you want. Don't be afraid. If you have a question, just ask. They're so willing to help. Yes. We love it. And you can tell that we love it, can't you? I mean, this is me and Lorette. This is our passion. Lakeisha, did you know that I went to do my PhD and I dropped out 
So I still get to be a teacher, but I teach my own classes. <laughs> and you know what I mean? I'm like still a professor, but a professor of teaching people how to start their own business and make their own money. So a different type of professor. But I really appreciate you saying that. Hey, guys, I want you to type in the chat box right there. Remember, Lakeisha said, always be learning like she's addicted to learning. So you see where it says ABL, always be learning type ABL in the chat box for me. Come on, ABL. Lakeisha, just repeat after me. Always be learning. Always be learning. <laughs> I just want to make sure that everybody gets that message. I mean, when I looked at it, and I think that we posted this when we um, were talking about interviewing you tonight. I think it was like, you've taken the SEO class, the design class, you took the virtual assistant class, or you're signing up for this coming- For November, for November. Okay. November, you guys need Lakeisha. You know, give everybody the link to that class. And if you want to call in to reserve your spot, because spots have been- um, just go in. I'm so happy with that because this is our premier class. Lakeisha, you made a good decision. You know that you did already. <laughs> but signing up for this next class, because in this next class, we teach you so much steps, um, so much stuff, stuff in depth, um, tongue twister there that, you know, we're really getting into it. So the website is thepaidva.com. Do you guys like that? We changed the URL from uh, VA Jamaica because we had people from outside of Jamaica in and we had to make sure that, you know, we're making it more global. Um, so thepaidva.com. I want to make sure that you guys got it. Type that in the comments box, the paid VA, because that's what you are going to be, a paid virtual assistant. We all want to get paid. We all want to get paid. And here's the thing, with what you've learned from Lakeisha just so far, the more you learn, the more you earn. Lakeisha, you know that's true, don't you? Yes, I do. Tell the more skills you you're able, sometimes you get a client, they want phone calls, they want they want you to do web research, they want you to do transcription. Listen, you can get all of that in your pocket. That's it's more true. money for you, one it's place, true. one shop, one stop shop. <laughs> it's true, it's true. You guys are doing so well. Everybody's typing in the paid VA, they're typing in always be learning right? Everybody is on it tonight. They are on it. Everybody is on fire. Listen, guys. What and another thing. Oh. Go ahead. Um, do not be afraid to try other areas because I went into phone calls and the first order I got was for 500 USD. Your and first that was order? amazing. My first phone call order was 500 USD. All right, let's stop right there. Everybody show Lakeisha some love for that. Like she's sharing. So hit that, the love or the like button. <laughs> hit that love or like button to show Lakeisha some love. We really appreciate her sharing and being so open. Come on, her first order with her phone call gig was 500 USD. So we'll teach you how to do the same in the course, the paid VA. So jump on it. I think Lakeisha, did you take um, the phone call class? No, I did not. No, but you learned that one just from everybody's conversations and stuff. Yep. Yes. So um, Novelette said, wow. Faithlin says, that's amazing. Blessed said, USD. <laughs> USD. Hey, for those of you just joining us, we are talking with Lakeisha. Liz our superstar who's addicted to learning, which makes her also so open to earning. As she said, the more you learn, the more you earn, right? So always be learning, really create as many opportunities as you can by getting new skill sets and then offer those as a service. The lady says that she does 10 buyer requests a day. If you're not doing 10 a day, you're doing nine to less, right? If you're doing one a day, what are you doing? Put up the maximum amount of gigs that you can. She has 11 up. So, Lakeisha, are you a level two seller? Yes, I am. Yes, you are. Okay. Um, Kayan said... With four, go ahead. With 402 reviews. 402 reviews. That means you probably... Five stars. Have five stars. 402 five-star reviews? Yes. 
I wouldn't expect anything else, right? Five star reviews. Good job, Lakeisha, right? Good job. And wow. it is so amazing when I'm looking at my profile and I'm seeing five star reviews from Israel, from United States. I'm like, wow, I've never been to these countries, but they know me. They know me. <laughs> How does that feel to be so global? Like being a virtual assistant, doing these kind of things online, you have clients from all over the world. And where are you working out of? Uh, most times I'm in my bed working. <laughs> <laughs> are you in your pajamas when you're working or do you actually get yes. dressed? Yes. No, I'm always in my pajamas or something. I'm all, I'm always home anyways. It's either I'm in my bed, <laughs> I'm around my desk or I'm sitting down somewhere. <laughs> and I'm always, if I'm going on the road, I have my laptop with me. I'm not leaving it. You're not leaving it. Amen to that. No. Did you learn that from Leighton or Lorette or you just knew that? Because we always say no. that. Like, huh? It has always been a, it's always been a thing where I always walk with my laptop. And then when I was watching, when I was watching, what's her name? Um, Winnie. Winnie said right. she, um, she doesn't leave her laptop. Right. It looks like we have a little bit of a, a lag. I'm wondering if it's on my end or hers. Let me see. Um, but one of the things that, that everybody's typing in is the laptop lifestyle. So let me just see real quick um, if, can you see her, Andrew? Let me just see which one. One of us, it's delayed. Andrew will tell me in a second. Uh, it looks like it's me. All right, guys. So <laughs> everybody's saying I learned from Lakeisha that you don't leave your laptop. Don't leave your laptop. That's right. So um, give me just a second here and let me see. Let me just look at our technical. What's going on? Check your laptop for me and tell me what's going on technically. All right, looks like I might have lost Lakeisha. So let me just join us. I'm just gonna confirm that really quickly. So uh, what I loved about what Lakeisha was saying is, you know, don't leave your laptop, always be, be selling, you know, be prepared with your clients, always over deliver. We learned a lot of really cool things from her interview right there and from what she's been saying so far. Now. What I want to encourage all of you guys to do is to find other opportunities to learn, right? Really do. Really find other opportunities to learn. We have classes. She was just giving us some great shout outs for our classes that we do. Me and my sister are super passionate about them. So I encourage you. I'm really going to encourage you to take a class. If you're interested in design, take the design class. Um... If you're interested, you know, whatever you're interested in, focus on taking that class. But if you want to learn the biggest skill set that is available and out there, I'm recommending our virtual assistant class. It's coming up. Everybody's talking about it and you should be talking about it too. Let me get that URL for you really quickly. The paid VA.com. So the paid VA.com. Make sure that you check it out. In that course, we go over so many in-demand skill set. Like what we do is we, what we did is we focused on, okay, what is in demand? What skill sets do people need? And then we teach you all of them. And then for homework, you dig in and you learn it more. So you're going to learn about like how to build websites, how to do email campaigns, how to build funnels, um, how to do transcription, how to do voiceover, how to do phone calls as a service, how to master Google Suites, how to do Instagram. Like we teach so much in that class that you have the best skill set for being a global entrepreneur. And that's what's important, right? And you heard Lakeisha said, I've got orders from Israel, like places I've never been, and people are hiring me to do their work for them. So being a virtual assistant is a really exciting opportunity. Now, speaking of opportunity, 
things a uh okay so uh blessed you said you're definitely signing up for the va course soon so all right we'll save you a seat i want to make sure that you get there cheryl dwight will contact you so if you guys want to um find out more about the class just go to the paidva.com and uh, and you can definitely find out more about that. So go to the paidva.com and you can find out more <laughs> about that class. So I just want to talk really quick to you about opportunity. And, you know, I, I recently heard someone say, well, you have to wait for opportunity to knock. And here's the thing is sometimes opportunities knock in and you don't hear it. You don't recognize that it's knocking. But don't wait for opportunity to not go to the door, open it, walk through the door and find your own opportunities. I truly believe that working online and being an online entrepreneur is the opportunity of all opportunities. Hey, guys, this is my 19th year as an online entrepreneur. Can you believe that? 19 years. Like, whoa, I'm almost at 20 years. I'm going to have a 20 year uh, financially free <laughs> A party when I hit it, it'll be in February, I believe that all um, of 2020 that I'll have that party. I'm like 20 years as an online entrepreneur, so that's pretty exciting. So for those of you asking how much is the VA class or when will it start, the VA class is if you pay up front, it's 200 US dollars in a one-time payment. Or we've got a three payment plan of $77. The payment plan is expiring soon. So take advantage of it. You only have a few days left to grab that payment plan. You probably got an email about it. But the payment plan is expiring. The three pay is expiring. I think it just moves to then a two pay and a one pay. So if you want to jump on that opportunity to join the class and break the class over payments, then grab the three pay. Um, Dwight, type your phone number for me so I can put it on the screen. So Blessed said, and I look like 30. Oh yes, I started internet marketing at 10, Blessed, I did. <laughs> um, thank you, honey, I love you. Uh, Blessed said, I believe in finding opportunities, absolutely. One of the things that we really believe in at Internet Income Jamaica, and we're also doing a ton of online classes, so we call ourselves the Academy of Digital Careers, is making sure that you have the best opportunities possible to learn the skills that you need to go global. Now, there's a lot of people out there teaching different ways to make money online, different skill sets. We have a class on S. SEO, getting SEO stands for search engine optimization. And we're not the only one that offers that class. We have actually been teaching that for about a decade now. We're not the only one that offers that class, but we believe that we offer a great class because we put our heart into it. We're, we're here, we're easy to reach. Um, Lakeisha was talking about that. Like you have a problem posted in the Facebook group, send us a message. We help you. This is our passion. It's not just our business, it's our passion. So you know, when you can combine your business and your passion, you know, you've got something that you're hooked into for the rest of your life and you're happily hooked into it. Yes, you guys agree? Yes, agree? So I'm one that always says it's time to turn your skills and your passion into profit. So think about the different skills that you have and selling those skills online and then think about the fact that if you could learn new marketable skills to sell online like you don't you're not expected to know everything and maybe you're coming with a skill of you know you can do great in phone calls or answering you know different things but the real question is what are you willing to learn so that you can earn right so let me just ask that question again what are you willing to learn so that you can earn? You must invest in yourself in order to reach the next level. Have you ever heard of a millionaire that says, no, I didn't read any new books. I didn't take any new courses. I didn't learn anything new. I just became a millionaire. A lot of us think that people who are super rich and super successful, you think that, oh, they're just a success overnight. Well, maybe overnight was 10 years, right? There's no such thing. I mean, unless you're winning the lottery and that's not considered success, that's considered luck. So 
you know, you have to, you have to know that when you have a skill that's in high demand, you can make money by offering that skill to companies and entrepreneurs that need it. So when a lot of people are like, well, I don't have any skills or I'm not really bringing anything to the table or I don't have any skills that I'd like to sell online. That's okay, but you can learn a new skill. We're all so capable of learning that new skill. And I don't care what your education level is. We've had teenagers learn website building at 14 and making 100, 200 bucks a week, right? We've had people, Sonia has a seventh grade education making thousands and thousands of dollars every month online. Their age is not a factor. You know, education level is not a factor. You know, you know what? for it. If you are hungry for success, if you are hungry to take your life to the next to the next level, that's the key. That's what determines your success. I've seen people who failed English, failed math, and they are making thousands of dollars online. So what is holding you back? You have absolutely no excuse, right? And I want you guys to just type one thing in the comments below, and that is no excuses. I always say, and I love it that you guys repeat this, but you cannot make money and excuses at the same time. Give me an amen on that one. Let me just repeat it. You cannot make money and excuses at the same time. If you're a person with a lot of excuses, I'll try to break you out of it. I really will. I will try to break you out of it. And if I can't break you out of it, I will walk away from you because I don't allow people in my life who have more excuses than you know, taking advantage of opportunity. Stop it with the excuses, people. If you've got people in your life that have too many excuses, you know, either give them an ultimatum to change or excuse yourself out of their life. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. I believe that you're also, and people say this a lot, but like you're the accumulation of the five people that you spend the most time with. So tonight, I just want you to write down who are the five people that you spend the most time with. Think about it. And do they make more money than you? Are they more successful than you? Are they hungrier than you? Are they more driven than you? Do you look up to them, right? And if you don't, then you need to get a new five because the, the energy of those five, right, you get put in the middle of that energy of those five people. So think about who, the, who those five people are. Now, sometimes you can take those five people with you, some of those people with you, and pull them up. A lot of people that have taken our class will then say to their friends and family, yo, I'm on this journey and you should be on it too. Here's the website, take this class, I took this class, let's do it together. If that person doesn't believe, doesn't wanna do it, They've given you a billion excuses and they're just too lazy. Well, now you've got four in your circle, right? And you can replace that five with someone else. A lot of you, a lot of our students, um, when they have their group of five, they're also five from our Facebook group. So your group of five doesn't have to be people you physically spend time with, but people who are still in your circle. So in a lot of your circles, if you've taken the get paid to type class, will be Layton, right? Layton is ill. Now Lakeisha has someone in her circle that she looks up to that makes more money than her, that is a huge company <clears throat> that's really driven. So, you know, that the five can be a new five. Look within the Facebook group, make some new friends, make Lakeisha your friend, make Layton your friend. When you're in the VA class, Ava will be in your group of five. I will be in your group of five. Andrew will be in your group of five, right? Lorette will be in your group of five. So Andrew, Alicia, Lorette, Ava, you can keep one person <laughs> from your old group. But now how do you think your life changes when you're surrounded by people who are obsessed with success, right? Obsessed with success. All right, Miss Lizzie Busy says, let's see what she says right here. Yes, I've introduced my friend to the transcription class and she is now making money. Friends help friends make money, <laughs> right? 
Uh, Kamir says, I'm trying to find five go-getter persons as my friends. You can do it, right? Blessed said, I had to drop a lot of people, too much negativity. I had to get divorced because there was too much negativity. So I'm with you, right? I left a man because he was too crazy and negative. <laughs> Is teaching English a marketable gig? Absolutely, right? Blessed said, I don't have five. My circle is very small. Think about your circle again, because you spend a lot of time with me, with a lot of time with people in our group. So think about your five again, um, blessed. Lakeisha says, no excuse. Blessed said, excuses piss me off. I'm with you on that one. Michelle says, no excuses. Miss Lizzie Busy says, you cannot make excuses and money at the same time. That is right. No excuses. June says no excuses. Um, Sharon, Shannon, Natalie says hallelujah, right? That's to the no excuses preaching that I did. Um, Shane says no excuses. Faithlin says no excuses. Carrie Ann says no excuses. And that is right. So... Um, Navlet says, wow, I'm feeling motivated. You should feel motivated. Here's the thing, whether you're in Jamaica or the U S or Barbados or Haiti or Nigeria, South Africa, we've got some amazing students in, in Africa, you can do it. The only thing that determines, like there's a few factors that determine if you're going to make it or not, but if you have the opportunity to make it or not, is if you're taking the time to learn a new skill. Learn a new skill. Learn how to market yourself as an online entrepreneur. Push it. Always be learning. Do something every single day for your business. Now, if you take off Saturday or Sunday, you know, religious reasons, I'm okay with that. But every other day, do something every day in your business. For 19 years, I dream about business. I eat about business. Like every meal I've had today has been a, a business meeting, a business meal, right? So really think about, um, really think about the fact that now that you're in this circle, this is your new circle, this is your new family, stay with us. We love you. We love what we're doing. <clears throat> I'm passionate about what I'm teaching. I told you guys before, I always wanted to be a teacher. Um, I dropped out of my PhD program because I was working online and making a lot of money. And so I, now I just say, hey, I'm still going to be that teacher that I always wanted to be, but I'm going to be teaching <laughs> instead of, I was going to teach environmental policy, but instead of teaching environmental policy, I'm teaching you how to make some money, how to build your online business. And I'm super passionate about that. So um, June says my circle is still in the making. That's all right, June. Shane says you have people right here that's in your circle silently cheering you on. That's right. Blessed said, remember I'm new. I'm sure I'm a, I'm sure it will grow soon. I got Shashan and Lakeisha, and I've known them for years. There you go. Blessed said, business is always on my mind. Miss Lizzie Busy said, having a nine to five <clears throat> and working online is hard, but but it's worth it. And that is so true. It is hard, but it is worth it. And I really want to tell you that working for yourself, you will work longer hours, you will stay up late at night, you will miss sleep. A lot of the ladies and gentlemen that now have their own online businesses will tell you that it's way harder than working for someone else because you're responsible for yourself, you're responsible for your clients, there's no one going behind you saying, Miss Lizzie Busy, did you deliver your order to your client? No, guess what, you have to do it yourself but you can take it upon yourself to, to be the best darn business owner that you can be. All you have to do is tell yourself every day, this is my business, this is my responsibility, I'm gonna over deliver. And Lakeisha said she had like 495 star reviews. Don't just deliver to your clients, over deliver. I want you to take the word deliver out of your vocabulary. You should never deliver work. You hear me? Okay, I'm going to say that again. <laughs> I'm going to say that again. <laughs> I'm going to say that again. Do not ever deliver work to your client. Don't ever deliver work over deliver work, right? I always talk about 
uh, Tamika and Tamika's story about how she said that she got a client to do transcription work from and the clients, you know, like an ongoing client, because when she did the transcription, she did what she was paid to do. But then she over delivered by creating a summary of that transcript and and handing that in to the client. Did the client pay for the summary? Yes or no? Let me see if you guys know the answer to this question. Did the client pay for the summary? Did the client pay for the summary? No, the client did not pay for the summary. What did she do? Faithline got it. She over delivered. Always over deliver. If you always remember that when you go to press the deliver button, you're like, oh, wait a minute. Alicia said to over deliver. Don't ever deliver. Over deliver. <laughs> so I don't care if you're delivering a phone call service and they said, I want you to call everybody one time. Well, when you hand it in, you say, here's the Excel spreadsheet. All the notes are in here. You told me to call everybody um, one time, but you know what? All the people I left voicemails for, I went back and called them again, and I got 50% of those on the phone. And out of those 50%, 20 signed up for an appointment. And then the 10 that were left that didn't answer, I went back and I tried a third time. And out of those 20 answered, and those 20, this happened. And the client, and you, and you write back and you say, you know, I know that you only told me to do it once, but I wanted to make sure that I over delivered to you and did the best that I could on this job. I hope that you're happy that I called a second and third time and got more people interested in your offer. Do you see how if you were the person on the receiving end, you would say, I'm always going to hire that person to do my work, right? I'm always going to hire that person to do my work. So don't ever just deliver, always over deliver, always over deliver. Keisha says, I guess she couldn't get back on. She says, I'm always working, studying, and over delivering. Absolutely. Always work, study, and over deliver. And guess what? We're all our own boss. So when somebody asks you what you do, I have my own business. That's what you say. I have my own business. I have a transcription company and I do transcription. I have my own business. I do graphic design. I have my own business and I'm a virtual assistant for companies globally. You are your own boss. You own your own business. You run your own business. You are the boss. Do you guys understand that? Blessed said, I receive tips by over delivering. Of course you do, right? Lakeisha just said she got a $60 tip for over delivering. That's not that's not the reason that you over you over deliver because you want great reviews, you want that client to come back to you and you want to get tips, but you also over deliver because Alicia said that you never deliver work, you over deliver your work, right? So just remember that guys, from now on you're always over delivering. All right guys, we're going to wrap this up soon. I just want to remind you that if you're interested in our VA course, that website is thepaidva.com, right? Thepaidva.com. Lakeisha says, I am the boss, right? Thepaidva.com. Um, the three payment part, the three part payment plan uh, expires soon. So I really want you guys to take advantage of that. If you've never taken the VA course yet, you should take it, learn some new skills hone up on the skills that you all already have. But this is our premier class, premier class. It's six week long. We meet three times a week in the evenings. If you're working, it's after work. All the sessions are recorded. <clears throat> so if you don't make it live, you watch the recordings. So you have homework. You need to be accountable. You're in a Facebook group. You will have your new set of five right? <laughs> At least maybe you keep one from your old set. You'll have a new set of four um, from people that are in this group. And you're really going to, blessed said, the paidva.com, right? So I, I encourage you, join the class. How many of you are actually joining the class? You haven't been in the class yet and you're joining, you're ready, you're in. Whether you've signed up or not, just say I'm in in the comments because I love to see, you know, who's going to take that leap to learn new skills and learn more to earn more. Right. I know Lakeisha, she signed up already. You've got a whole bunch of people that have signed up already. And if you want, uh, want us to, we can reach out to you. 
Um, I'll post our phone number in a minute so you can WhatsApp our office if you need any help. But if you're in and you're like, I'm going to be taking that class, I am going to be leveling up on my skills, <laughs> I want to know. Just say, um, I'm in, right? So Amanda says, I'm in. I know Lakeisha is in. Blessed said, yes, yeah, so you did say you were coming into that class. Blessed said, I'm in. This class is going to have the biggest superstars of all time. So for those of you who are even new um, to this, like you'll create your new circle of online entrepreneurs that you will hang out. We, we just need like a get together for all of us. I'm going to work on that, right? Shannon says, I'm in. Uh, I love that, Shannon. I, I'm excited to have you in. Um, I don't if I'm saying this wrong, I'm so sorry, but Kim Camiar maybe um says I'm in and my space is secured. Simone said that guys, good job. I'm so excited. This class is gonna be amazing. Um, you guys should be excited not only for what you're learning and what you're going to earn as part of learning, but also for the other great people that are gonna be in this class with you. Blessed says, yeah, <laughs> you know, this is the class uh, of superstars. This is where great friendships are made. And this is where your bank account gets some additional zeros onto it from the new skills that you're learning. Now, let me just tell you, when you're, uh, when you take the class, you need to be 100% committed to learning so that you can earn more. Does that mean you have to be on live every night? No, because if you're not on live, the class is recorded. You know, does that mean that everything we teach you have to set up a gig for? No, but imagine now that you have new skills, you speak a different language. You're speaking online entrepreneurship. Every skill that you're going to learn, I can do. I can build funnels. I can do phone calls. I can do transcription. I can do email marketing. I can do social media marketing. I can create social media designs and the list goes on and on. So I want you to be able to say the same thing that I can say. You can say, you know, because you took the VA class, you got all the same skills that Alicia's got and that Lorette's got, right? So blessed said money, money. Shimmer says, when does the three-part payment plan expire? I believe it expires in six days. So at the very least, make sure that you contact Dwight in the office. Um, our office phone number is 876 374-7044. That's 876-374-7044. Right? So make sure that you give him a call or WhatsApp him if you uh, are worried that, you know, you haven't saved your seat yet. So make sure that you, at the very least, say, Dwight, save my seat. I'm not missing out on this great opportunity. Look, guys, I'm knocking. I'm saying, hey, I'm willing to teach you. My team is willing to teach you. I'm willing to spend my time on you, a lot of effort on you. Think about this class. I have, you know, a team that's going to help you. Um, I have a Facebook group that's that's very engaged for you. I've got the best experts on the island and off the island that are going to be teaching you this new skill set. You are going to be going global. It's a very, very small investment to pay to learn the skills that you're going to learn. Um, Desreen said, I just completed the ultimate virtual assistant course and I'm going over Powtoons. It's a video tune automation software that we use. Um, she says, it's a wonderful course, money well spent. Thank you. I appreciate that money well spent, right? So um, the payment plan expires on Monday, Monday, September 9th. So uh, if that answers your question, Shimmer, um, I hope that does. And then I'm just going to say Dwight's phone number again. Write it down. Pull out a pen and paper. It's 876-374-7044. Or just save it in your phone right now and send him a WhatsApp message and say, Dwight, save me a seat. <laughs> save me a seat. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. But I am so excited that you're going to be able to level up, take your life to the next level. So excited. Listen, this class every day, people are signing up for it. It's got me so excited for what's ahead 
for your future. Hey, whether you sign up for the class or not, you know, it's not affecting me financially. I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. But whether you sign up for this class or not is going to affect you financially. It's going to make the difference on what's your Christmas like this year. How are you going to end 2019? What's your 2020 going to be like? How are you going to be able to better provide for your family? I'm teaching you the skills that I already have. Uh, my team is teaching you the skills that they have. The question becomes not how many students are we going to sign up and get for the class. The question becomes, are you going to jump on this opportunity and what's it going to do for your life? That's what you always have to think about. What's in it for me? What's going to happen to me when I learn a new skill? You've heard from so many people um, about how great our courses are and you know, taking our classes. It's great for the people who take action and implement what they're taught. We don't teach you any fluff. We don't teach you things that we're not doing. We teach you things that we know, that we trust, that we're doing that's making us money. And we're an open book. People say that a lot. I can't believe you're teaching us all these things. We're looking behind closed doors. You guys are an open book. It's because this is our passion. You are our passion and we're not. Somebody asked me, when are we going to stop teaching in Jamaica? I said, I don't think we'll ever stop teaching in Jamaica because even when we succeeded our mission, which is to help every single person who wants an extra opportunity to earn money either on the side or make their side hustle, their full-time hustle, once we've taught everybody about that, we're going to make sure that they have new skills to increase their income because how, if you're already making money, how are you going to make more money? Learning is earning. Learn a new skill so that you can offer more services to the clients that you already have, the new clients that you can get from that added skill set. You cannot keep growing financial rate if you are not improving your mindset, your skill set, and your knowledge base, right? How are you supposed to reach a next level with what you have now? You need to add on to what you have to get better and to get to that next level. So take it to the next level. <laughs> Blessed said I should do a motivational session. Hey guys, listen, take it to a next level. Don't stop, don't stop learning, always be learning. And listen to me, when I tell you that the more you learn, the more you earn, that's been true for my life. That's been true for the lives of my friends. If you, some of you guys know like my circle and that the mastermind sessions that I go to, I only, I mean, I hang around you guys that are future millionaires and some of you that are millionaires um, as well already, but my friends are US dollar millionaires. When I go to events and I hang out with people, I'm hanging out with people who've developed software, amazing programs, right? People who've sold companies for millions of dollars. I'm careful on who's in my circle. If you heard my presentation in 2017 at the Les Brown event, I said, when people call you on the phone to gossip, to talk about crap, and nonsense, change their name in your phone to waste man or waste woman or waste of time. And when they call, you look at that and you'd be like, oh, it's waste of time calling. And you put your phone down. You need to take your life to the next level. It's time and you can do it. I believe in you. And I know that you believe in yourself. So let's do it. This class starts in November and it's your duty to yourself and to your family to really level up. Come on, guys, you can do it. Level up, level up, level up. If you don't take this class, learn new skills. Take a different class. I don't care, but level up. If you do not want to be in the same position next month, don't let Christmas catch you and your bank account isn't fatter because you didn't level up, right? If you've got kids and your kids are like, mommy, can I have this for Christmas? I want you to say to them, no, you can't because I didn't level up myself and I didn't learn new skills to make more money. And, you know, mommy or daddy didn't do what they knew they had to do to provide a better life for you. I'm sorry. Right. Will you be able to look your child in the face and say that or, you know, your spouse or your significant other or your sister or your mother and be like, Mom, I'm sorry, I can't buy you that medication that you want because 
I had the opportunity to level up and to to improve my life, but I didn't do it because I spent three hours a day gossiping and one hour a day watching days of our lives. And you know, you know what I mean? Like, think about that. Those are the hard questions that you've got to ask yourself that really will make you want to say, what am I doing? What, what am I, I almost cursed, right? What am I doing? <laughs> you could hear me there. I just stopped for a second. What am I doing? What am I doing with my life? What am I doing with my life? Level up, right? <laughs> level up. It's time to level up. I'm really sick of the people who are lazy, full of excuses. If that was you today, that's not you tomorrow. Please, no more excuses. Stop it. Stop it. You know, I made I've made excuses in my life before, and there I I, I don't know who it was, Tony Robbins, or I, I'm always buying new courses and listening to some. Anyway, I listened to something that said, the next time you make an excuse, you hear it coming out of your mouth, slap yourself. <laughs> right? And take that excuse and throw it away. And so sometimes I catch myself and I realize it's an excuse and I don't let that excuse come out of my mouth. And I want you to make sure that you do the same thing, right? Do the same thing. Stop it. Stop making excuses. Never. I've traveled all over the world. And, you know, my dad is from Jamaica. My dad's family lives here, you know, but and my mom is from Guyana, South America, and I've traveled all over the world. I've traveled all over Africa, Asia, you know, I've traveled to the UK, I've traveled all over the US and the Caribbean, and never have I found people that make more excuses than us in Jamaica. For those of you that are in Jamaica listening to those, to the, to, you know, listening to this, why do we make so many excuses? Oh, it's raining outside. I can't do what I'm supposed to do. Oh, my neighbor's cat's cousin is limping and I can't do anything today, right? Stop it. Stop it. And stop hanging around people who are making excuses because it's pulling you down, right? I want you to think about those People in your life who are pulling you down, and I'm sorry to say, but, you know, change their name on your phone and protect yourself, protect your energy, protect yourself, right? You have to, nobody else is going to do it, but you protect yourself, protect yourself from the energy draining, toxic people that are in your life that are only pulling you down. Hey, you can give them a warning. You can say, Listen, John Smith, you are negative, you are toxic, and you are pulling me down. If you don't change, you're out of my life. I'm not going to be answering the phone anymore. I'm not going to be talking to you, and I'm not going to be God with you, right? And I don't think that that is unfair because you have to look out for yourself. And I'm guilty of this. Like I care about other people more than I care about myself a lot of the time. So... I'm guilty of that, but I catch myself. And a lot of people will say when they call me, they notice that I don't talk for more than seven minutes. I have a seven minute rule. If you call me, say what you got to say within seven minutes, unless I know it's a million dollar opportunity, I'll throw my $7 rule out the window. But if you call me or you WhatsApp me, you're gone within seven minutes. That's because I've got things to do. I've got my seven minute rule. Set your seven minute rule right? My, my family knows, don't call me during the day. My uncle used to call me during the day. I'm saying, don't, I'm busy. Don't call me during the day. Call me after six o'clock. And in fact, just what's at me first. And if I'm free, I'll call you back. Like you have to set rules for your life because you're going different places, right? And you're leveling up, you're leveling up, you're leveling up. Hey guys, I just want you to write in the comments below. If you're ready to level up, just write level up, write it in the comments, level up. It's so important that you level up. Do not be in the same position tomorrow that you're in today. Even if you're doing well today, tomorrow you have to do something different that's going to take your life to the next level, right? Level up. <laughs> level up. You guys need to level up. Step it up. Level up. Do not stay in the same place tomorrow that you are in today. When you wake up tomorrow, wake up with purpose. So one thing that I learned, and for those of you who don't know, I'm a six-time cancer survivor, 
right? That's right. Six times. I had ovarian cancer in 2003 um, and reoccurrences every 18 months, six times, just count five times after the first time, just count it. But I made a choice every day when I woke up to be happy, to be thankful, to say, I'm going to beat this. It's mental, right? You have to make the choice in your life. You have to make the choice in your life of how that day, how you're going to take on that day. And I see a lot of people drag with them the disappointments of yesterday into tomorrow. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Gosh, I know you can have heartbreak. Things can hurt. Trust me, I have been hurt. I have had the most horrific heartbreaks. I have had huge disappointments. I have had a huge amount of fear. Do you know what it's like for a doctor to tell you you have cancer, right? And and give you your five-year survival rate, your chances of surviving five years, and then to tell you you have it again and again and again and again. Huge disappointments. But I know because I, I study, you know, personal development mindset that what I do and what I say to myself and how I react to what is said to me determines the outcome, right? So you really need to think about that. And if you haven't been taught that, listen to what I'm saying to you, right? You have to your mind is the most powerful weapon, right? Use it for good, <laughs> use it for good, but your mind is the most powerful weapon that you have. If you say, and I've seen it, unfortunately, but I've seen it with people who say, I will not be successful, I'll never make any money. That's what they're saying every day. And what happens to those people? They're not successful, they don't make any money, they never, never, love, they never level up in life. And I've seen people who, are the people that people look at and say, they will never make it. They're never going to be anybody. Look at them. They failed in school. They didn't even get through high school. But those people say to themselves, I'm going to be successful. I'm going to have my own business. I'm going to do great things in life. You know, I'm going to make people look at me and say, wow, look at her. And those people become successful. Have you guys heard that? The words that come out of your mouth, mindset, powerful words, powerful. So be careful what comes out of your mouth. Be careful what you say and be careful about the energy and the attitude that you put out every single day, right? So when I wake up, sometimes I've had people say, why are you always waking up happy? And I'm saying, why wouldn't I? I'm alive today. Amen to that, right? God is great. I'm glad to be alive today. You should be too. Smile. We had a rule when you came into my office and now we've got people who only do that. And I used to stand, this is my social media agency. And I used to stand at the door. And if you did not walk in the door on the other side of the door, so you walk in the door. And if you did not walk in the door with a smile, I kick you out, go back out the door and walk back in the door with a smile. If you didn't do it, I kick you out again. If you can't do it, you're physically incapable, no matter what I do to you <laughs> and what I preach to you of being a pleasant person then stay on the other side of the door because once you come in my door with your negative energy, you affect me and all the workers that are in this office. You guys know that toxic people, they're poison. You can't be that poison. You have to be on the other side. Keep the toxic people out the door, lock the door, deadbolt the door, put on an alarm, don't let them in. And you make sure that you protect yourself. Think about your mindset, the words that are coming out of your mouth, the energy that you put forth when you wake up tomorrow morning. You say affirmations to yourself. I am successful. I am blessed. I am a child of God great things are in life. I am going to level up. My life is going to the next level, right? Do that and see what happens in your life. Pay attention. Do that. See what happens in your life. And you will see, I promise you, I, I this I can promise because I know, I promise you that your life will be different. I promise you your life will be different. I do. I, pr I can I will guarantee you that your life will be do it different. Do it every day, all day long, and remember that, right? I was taught by Jack Canfield. For those of you that know Jack, he came here to uh, Jamaica. For those of you that are in Kingston, Jamaica, 
we were so excited to bring him here. And I went to go see him in America first before I brought him to Jamaica. And one of the things that he said is, did you know that what you put in your mind the last 45 minutes before you go to bed, subconsciously, you think about it all night long. So sometimes when I went to bed, the last thing that I would do is work, right? And then I would I would be working all night long. I felt so tired when I got up in the morning because I was working all night long. But now I read a book or listen to some motivation. I love Les Brown. You guys know that. I, I just saw him last week. I love Les Brown. I love Tony Robbins. I love Joel Osteen. I love T.D. Jakes, right? Put something positive into your mind before you go to bed and the first thing in the morning, and you will see that your life will take on a totally different meaning. All right, guys, please share this video with someone who needs to hear this message, especially if there's someone in your life that you want them to level up. Because listen, let's carry people with us. Those who can do it, lock the door. Keep them on the outside. Those who you know can level up, get them to level up. Why not? There is so much abundance in this world for all of us. There's enough for all of us. There's too much for all of us. So, you know, share, care about other people, bring them with you on this journey. Those that you know and love and you know that they can make it, tell them that they can make it. Pour positive things into them. Tell them that they can do it. When they are listening and open to what you have to say, you can pull them and bring them with you. And there's nothing better than bringing a bunch of people with you on your journey. And that's what I have spent the last, I don't know, 15 out of 19 years doing, trying to bring as much people on this journey with me, my sister, my business partner, Andrew, our team. We've tried so hard to bring people with us on this journey, teach them, encourage them, motivate them, give them the skills to make their life better. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. So do me a favor, share this video. I will see you on the nice. It's time to level up. I look forward to seeing all of you in our virtual assistant class, the paidva.com. Hey, spread the word about it. Spread the words. Time, level up. We can uh, we can impact positively so many people's lives, their families' lives, the businesses that they help, those are impacted and the people that work for them. So, it's one of those feel good things. I'm proud of what we do. Um, and I'm so proud of you for being here with me today and listening to this live. Thank you guys so much. I love you. If you enjoyed this live, hey, tell me about it in the chat below. Tell me about it in the comments, right? Tell me about it. Let me just help one person here. Um, Ramit, Marcia, you said, I need to overcome the fear of failure before I start this course. You don't need to overcome it before you start this course. Start the course and we'll help you overcome it together. Here's something about the fear of failure. Most of us have the fear of failure. Fear is a real thing, right? A lot of people say fear is false energy acting real or something like that or whatever it is. But we feel fear. But when we feel fear, we have to recognize it, understand it, and be able to take it on. So we're helping you with the... with the, when you get those skills and learn new skills, you start to feel confident. And confidence wins fear every time in a battle, right? So when you've got confidence, you beat fear every single time. And all you need to do to have more confidence is get the skills that you know that you need in order to level up, <laughs> right? And, and this is confidence and this is fear. And confidence you know, crushes fear every single time. I hope that helps you. So Shane says fear, false evidence appearing real. Thanks for that. Thanks for that. You're right. And so what I want you to do is to really think about it. And um, Blessed says, thank you so much. I will take positive conversation over mu movies and social media. I was talking about this on one of the last lives and I was telling Andrew and Lorette this. Every time I go to the hairdresser, you know, I've got a few hairdressers that I go to, the conversation is always gossip in the hair salon. And at first I went there and I was like recently and I was like, I don't know anything that they're talking about. And I have a hairdresser who tries 
me on five recent events, gossip events, right? What is Wendy Williams doing? What's Nicole talking about? What's on Housewives of Atlanta? Who's doing this to this, right? I know none of it. Never. I don't know any of it. And I'm not embarrassed to say, I don't know who Nicole is. I don't know what was on the Wendy Williams show. I have no idea about the housewives and what's going on because I protect what goes into my brain and what I have time for. Who has time for that? If you have time for that, you need to take on a new skill set and learn something new. I'm not saying that I don't decompress, but I decompress in different ways. I don't ever decompress with gossip. The people that are around me will tell you that they have never heard me pick up the phone and call anyone to gossip. And I don't answer anyone's phone calls that, you know, the, the people in my circle are all like me, entrepreneurs, right? Who are self-motivated and trying to level up. If you're not trying to level up in life, don't call me. <laughs> don't call me. All right. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much. I will see you, right? I will see you on the next live, which will be tomorrow. So make sure that you're here. Share this for me. Sharing is caring. Love you guys. Bye. Bye. Hey, if you have any questions, call our office, 876-374-7044. Ask for Dwight, WhatsApp us, and we'll help you. Um, all right. Bye. Bye, everybody.